Hello and welcome to a video. In this video, we'll be doing a basic tutorial for Asteroid Layout Manager, where we'll try adding some animations, some background images, and some videos. This is the default quick start you can download from our website, and we'll end up making it look something like this. I'll reload the page real quick. And you can see we have an animation, we have a video background. If I scroll down, we have another animation. With, um, parallax image at the bottom we have another video we're going to try to reproduce this if i may this is chaitan and i'm with zoom dev so the very start, first step is to add a background video to this section in asteroid you can do backgrounds on column uh, section column and element settings but we're going to do it on a section level in this case since we do not have more than one you know element or more than one module published inside this section so we go here edit the hero section which is where this module is by the way go to the design tab and we already have the background color selected here so you can see the background colors there <clears throat> excuse me and then we'll go ahead and select video uh, I'll go ahead and upload the video we want to use in this case this one okay perfect all right and save save and we'll come back and refresh all right our video is there the next step is to add an animation to this uh section so it kind of balances it in from the top so we'll go to the hero section again and then on the element level now you can add animations on element level column level or section level but since this is uh, you know we only have one element I'll go ahead and add animation on the element level so I'll select bouncing down this is in the design tab and we'll delay this by like 1.2 seconds or something okay save refresh so now you'll see the video not only see the video but also see this area animating like a second later okay there you go perfect so this is so far what we wanted now let's add an animation uh, background image to this section and an animation uh, yeah parallax background image to this section and an animation as well so we'll go here this I think is section 2 or something uh, yeah I think this is section 2 so or maybe it's section one actually uh no this 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 let's look at the code real quick we can inspect and see the class this is being used so this is section two yeah so in this section we want to add a background image make it parallax so the background stays like this one you know while the page is scrolling and add an animation to this part so you know it looks nice it comes in from the left so section two again on the section level design settings and we're gonna select an image here we'll upload this one as well okay perfect we have the image and here we're gonna select fixed this is what is gonna make it uh, parallax okay and the background position can be center center and we don't want it to repeat and this can be cover contain okay save it refresh i scroll back to the top by the way so we can see this working working great okay and there we have our parallax background now you'll see the text is not visible you know which isn't great so we'll look at another feature which is being able to change colors on a section level okay so let's go ahead and change the color first and then we'll look at you know the animation so we were at section two edit section design settings and scroll down a bit we have custom colors so let's say we want the text color to be white for this section all right save it refresh and there you go the text color is now white much visible much much visible now let's add that animation like a second later or something again we can do it on column level on element level uh, so let's do it on column level in this case because in the previous case we did it on element level so we want to say bounce in right so you know it comes in from right I want to say 
this is a second layer. Now the animations are really coded well, so the animation would not happen until and unless the user is on the section. So, you know, the first one is on 1.2 seconds, and you know, if the second animation was a second later, you'd think that it has already been animated. But no, until we scroll down to the section, you would not see the animation there. Now, if I scroll down, you can see, you know, animating from the right. Okay, perfect. Now let's add the video background to this section. You know, this is, I think this section, section five. Let's verify real quick. So the way I'm looking at this is, you know, I would verify the parent, which this reads section five. So this would read the name of this section, always. And on the section level, we'll go ahead and add a bit video. So design and select video and upload files. I'll drag my video that I've downloaded. Perfect. Okay. Save, save, refresh. All right, you'll see the video, but again, we're not able to read the text. Again, the feature that we used earlier, again, uh, in last section, we added the colors on a section level, you know, in this one. So here we changed the color to white, but we did it on a section level. Let's do it on a column level in this case, okay? So we go to, this was section five, okay? We'll go to column level, custom colors text I want to make it white again okay save refresh and there you go the text is white and if I scroll back up you'll see the animations happening because the animations only happen when the user actually sees the screen and there you go so we have pretty much the exact replica of what we had here you know on this screen where we have nice video backgrounds, animations, and parallax background images. Now, this is just a glimpse of what's possible with Asteroid. So head on over to zoomdev.com, download a copy, unless you have already downloaded and are playing around. And if you have any questions, post back to our forum at zoomdev.com slash forum. These videos, I've downloaded these from a website, I think Pixabay or pixbay.com that's what it's called we'll post the links in case you want to grab these videos and these images that are used in this post thank you for watching